Hello guys, today in this video we are going to solve this lab which is exploiting XSE using external entities to retrieve files. So let's get started. So we need to do XXE exploitation and get the value of slash etc password file. So here is the lab and I hope your bob suit is open on the side and when uh, you just click any product right now okay just click on something like let me check this product and when uh, I check click on this check stock prices like this button on check stocks it tells the number of units which are there for these stocks okay so they have already given us a hint that the check stock feature that pass XML input and it turns any unexpected values in the response so let's take an advantage of it so firstly let's see what the request is like I am gonna turn the interceptors on and the very second I just click on some uh, place and when I click on check stocks as you can clearly see an XML is going over there so XML is used to uh, transport data okay and sometimes even store data so whatever the value is going so you might have seen it might be a parameter like usually it is in a get parameter or is in a post parameter and over here this is an XML which is going over here so what here this doing it's checking this uh, it's the stock check is the root parameter like root and then there is a children as product ID and it's 11 and uh, I am just going to send this to re repeater because we are gonna take advantage of this request and I'll forward this so when I forward this as you can see Paris the answer of 581 comes over here now what's the exploit let's do that so for uh, the XSE exploit which I'll just send it to the repeater over here uh, what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna type in this line which is gonna help us exploit this so uh, this is how it is typed that below the XML version and encoding if below the top line I need to add this line okay so I'll just copy it and I'll add this over here okay so now I've added it as you can clearly see uh, over here I'll show you how it's looking right now see this line is the same line as this one it doesn't matter and I'll tell you the logic behind this line see what is happening is that you see this word XSE okay I'll show you here this word XSE which is over here is gonna be replaced by all of this content that means in the system okay I'll just explain it here let me turn change this 11 to this value which is and xse and yep okay now I'll explain you this xse value is gonna be replaced by this entity xse over here and what this tells us is that go to system and retrieve the uh, like the values in this file so this file contains some values which are gonna be in this XSE variable which we are passing over here so I'll show you the results um, like without it and with it so without it it will just give the value which is 581 this is the value of the stocks of Paris which we are getting over here okay now I am going to do that injection like we are just gonna copy all this again and I'll just below this just one line below you can type this entity line and you just need to add a variable over here which is this variable okay so here rather than 11 I'll type this variable okay and I'll send this request now when I send this request as you can see it's clear cut gives invalid product ID because uh, this and xse which is this thing over here is obviously not a number and the product id is wrong but still it gives us the result because this is what we are requesting for in this xse and this is quite our result so to solve the lab what we need to do is that we need to click on it and request in browser you know original session or any session and you can just paste it over here and once you paste it you can just turn off the proxy now and see it will show json pass bad control character 
but it will give you this raw data in here that is exactly what we want and now on refreshing this it will show you lab salt because our aim which was getting this value has now done that's it so this is what we did to solve this lab i hope you like this video and i have more videos like this so if you liked it i'll attach the playlist over here in the right side so like and subscribe and see you next time bye bye